<laughs> oh, yeah? You're reading now? Since when do you read? Oh, hello, hello. Uh, well, I was just glancing at War and Peace, and let me tell you, I side with Shakespeare on brevity. <laughs> brevity is the soul of wit, which, uh... Do I have to put on training wheels for this conversation, or is, uh... What is this? What are you doing? I'm having dinner with you. I see. You've lifted the restraining order? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not lifting the restraining order, but Frank paid me $500 to be here, and so I'm having dinner with you. Ah, I see. Do you? Because I don't. I didn't ask questions. Though. Well, it's all rather transparent, really, isn't it? Frank and I have always been very close, as you know, uh, but I've turned a corner, uh, if you will, with my life recently. I have new, more substantial interests, new friends, better suited to those interests. So understandably, Frank is feeling somewhat marginalized. <laughs> now, he's gone out of his way to enlist your aid uh, in the hopes that my deep infatuation with you will uh, perhaps pull me away from those people and those pursuits that have, in turn, been pulling me away from Frank as of late. What now? Frank's using you to get to me. How are you? Never mind. Moving on. Beaujolais, why don't you have a little bit? Loosen up. Okay. That'll get rid of that uninviting edge. <clears throat> so, uh, tell me about yourself. Are you, uh, quite well these days? Well, uh, actually, I'm, like, okay, because my boss, like, at the restaurant, he, like, totally doesn't get me. I mean, he thinks that being a waitress is, like, what I am, and I'm, like, that doesn't define me, dude, okay? Like, I'm saving up to open my own nail salon, and I have come up with all of these great names for a nail salon. Um, some of them are, like, The Hand Whisperer or Finger Fantasy. And I've been watching Tap at the Takes Over a lot because it's a show that takes place in salons. Finger Fantasy, Finger Fantasy. Or I've been watching this show called Tap at the Takes Over, Tap at the Takes Over, Tap at the Takes Over, something like that. And I've been watching Tap at the Takes Over a lot because it's a show that takes place in salons. See, the mouse always wins. There's, there's like no winning with mice. Cat keeps getting hurt. He gets hurt. Well, it's dangerous, yeah. What the hell are you guys doing? We're trying to watch cat and mouse cartoons to find out how kitty cats deal with their rat issues. If Charlie was still around, none of this would be happening. He's distracted with that damn literature and science crap. Charlie is our foundation. Where does a foundation belong? Yes. On top. On the bottom. We gotta go grab Charlie and drag him back down into the sewer where he belongs. Oh, well, well. I can't see. I've been outsmarted by a rat, and right now I'm stuck on its glue trap. Did you try the gasoline, loosening it? We, All we, over it. That didn't work, but you know what does work? It's breathing it in. <laughs> Deandre, are you holding on to the trap? No. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Let go of the trap. Charlie. Oh, no, no. We'll do it. We gotta go. We'll, we'll, Let's do it tomorrow. We'll, we'll nap first. Oh, we'll go sleep. Can you turn the TV back on? Tomorrow's good. <laughs>